Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at how you can quickly and easily create a bulleted or numbered list. And these are really useful if you have certain list items that you want to stand out in your document, and it makes your document a lot easier to read. Now, I'm working in a completely different document, and you'll find this document ready to go in the Course Files folder, so make sure that you have this downloaded. Now, all of the information in this document I've just grabbed off of Wikipedia and pasted in. And I haven't applied any formatting to this document as yet. Now, I can see in the bottom left hand corner that this document is 15 pages long. And the page that I want to work on is actually page 13. So let's use Go To to jump directly to that page. Control G is the shortcut key to bring that up. Let's type in 13, Go To. And now I'm in the spot that I want. Now here I have a list of countries and this basically shows the top 10 coffee consuming countries measured per capita and per annum. And this looks kind of fine, but I want to make this a bulleted list so that it really stands out and makes it easier to read. Now, if I click in the first line item here, Finland, jump up to the home tab. Notice in the paragraph group, we have a row up here, which relates to bullets and numbering. So let's take a look at this first one just here. This is where we can create a bulleted list. Now, if I click the drop down, I gain access to the bullet library. So this really allows you to customize the style of bullet that you're using. Now, the most common one is the first one just here, a plain old bullet. So let's select it. And now it's bulleted just that first line item. Now, I really want to have bullets applied to this entire list. So do I have to go through selecting each one and applying bullets? No, I don't. I can make my selection first of all and then apply bullets in all one go. So let's undo. I'm going to do Control Z to undo that. Let's select the entire list of countries and then I can just click the bullets button. And if I just click the button as opposed to clicking the drop down and selecting from the bullets library, it's going to apply that first default bullet. So now my list looks a lot neater. Now, the difference here is that once you've applied bullets to the entire list, if you want to change these bullets, so maybe I decide I want a different type of symbol. I don't have to highlight the entire list again because Word recognizes it's already a list. So I can simply click my cursor anywhere in this list, click the drop down and let's choose something else from the bullet library. And it changes for everything. And the cool thing about bulleted lists is that if I click at the end where we have Canada and press the enter key, it's automatically going to give me another bullet point so I can carry on typing in the next item in my list. Now, another thing to be aware of is that you do have different levels of bullet. So maybe underneath each of these countries, I want to break it down by their major cities. So what I could do is click at the end of Finland. If I press enter, I'm going to get another bullet on the same level. But if I press my tab key, it's going to indent and give me a different style of bullet. So this is kind of for your secondary list items. So maybe I want to put in here some information specifically related to the city of Helsinki. And I could carry on going. So if I click at the end of Norway, press my tab key, I can then type in the next item, so on and so forth. We even have a third level list. So if I press tab again, it's going to carry on going. So the tab key is going to give you different levels of indented bullet. If you want to indent back out again, shift tab will take you backwards. Now, what about if I want to remove bullets? Well, all I need to do here is click the drop down and choose none. And that's going to remove the bullet from that line only. But what about if I want to remove the bullets from the entire list? Well, I need to select the list and then choose none from the bullet library. Now I'm going to tidy this list up a little bit. Let's remove those cities to take it back to how it was previously.
So bullet points are really simple to apply. But what about if I want to turn this into a numbered list instead? Maybe this would make more sense because it is effectively a top 10 list or a top 11 list as we've added a new item. Because this is the first time that I'm applying a numbered list, I need to make sure that I select the entire list first and then I can go up to the numbering option. Now, if I click the drop down here, we do have a numbering library. So again, this depends on what type of numbers you want to apply to this list. You might want one, two, three. You might want one, two, three with a bracket around it. You might want Roman numerals. You might want uppercase, lowercase, so on and so forth. So let's apply this one just here, one, two, three, and it applies to the entire list. If I hit enter again, I'm going to get the next bullet. And if I press the tab key, it's going to give me my indented bulleted item. So really nice and straightforward. Now I'm going to select this entire list again, and let's choose none to reset it. The final thing I want to show you here is how you can use a picture as your bullet instead. So once again, I'm going to select the entire list. Let's click the drop down and notice at the bottom, we can choose to define a new bullet. So if you decide that you don't like any of these bullets available in the bullet library, we can pretty much use any picture as a bullet. So if you have a little picture or a logo or something like that saved off to your hard drive, you could choose picture and then browse for it in that way. Or alternatively, and sometimes this does work a little bit better, we could choose a symbol from Word's inbuilt symbol gallery. So let's click on symbol. It's going to open up all of the symbols that we have available and I could choose something from here to use as a bullet. So let's use a star. I'm going to select it from the gallery, click on OK. I'm getting a preview as to what that's going to look like. And When I click on OK, it's going to use stars as bullet points instead. The final thing to mention here is the little button that we have at the top here, and this is for a multi level list. So currently I basically have a single level list. If I select all of the items and click the drop down, I can choose one of these options. So this is where I can really customize what those different levels look like. So if the top level has a one next to it, if I press the tab key, the next item is going to be 1.1. Tab key again, the next item is going to be 1.1.1. And we have various different inbuilt preset styles that we can apply. So if I choose this one, I have my numbered list, 1 to 11. But if I have other items in this list, when I press the tab key, it's going to give me 1.1. If I press the tab key again, I get 1.1.1. So you really do have a whole list of different styles that you can use, not only for bullets, but also when you're trying to construct a numbered list in your document. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.